What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Uh, in the next few minutes, I'll do a quick price prediction and price analysis on Chainlink, abbreviation Link. Uh, it's been a while since I did an analysis on the, this uh, coin. To be honest, last analysis was completely wrong. Um, I deleted it, but I, I it might have been before this bearish fundamental move, but I thought we would kind of find support at around 20 um, as the latest support, which we obvi obviously didn't. So, um, so yeah, that's a shame. But still, um, Chainlink is, is looking quite bullish. I mean, we've seen this trend line hold quite good. Let's see how we can actually, I think, uh, I think something like this is actually the best way to draw it. Yeah, uh, but that held. And then we got through this uh, key level or this resistance level at 20.0, uh, did find resistance at 20.8, which as you can see is a big area of confluence, retested off of it, broke the area. So that's actually quite bullish. Uh, now finding resistance at this trend line, but I think this trend line will not hold. Um, at least if Bitcoin stays stable at around uh, 49, 48,000, which it is doing, then I don't think this trend line will hold. And I think eventually we'll go up to uh, between 28.8 or 21.8 and uh, 22.16. Uh, that's quite a big area, but that area, I mean, at the top of it is key level in between the 200 DMA and at 21.8, there is a 618 FIB of this uh, downward move which uh, has proven to be very strong with other cryptos. So from there, I do expect some resistance, uh, maybe drop down to 20.8. Then I kind of expect a consolidation between 22.15 and 20.8. And eventually the price might drop down a little bit lower, um, somewhere like 20, maybe 19.75, dropping down again to that trend line. And from there, I think we could have enough bullish um, bullish momentum to actually uh, do something like this and then something like this because this is the scenario if we do break that uh, 22.14 i'd say we need to break at least to somewhere around 23 if we don't do that uh, so if the candle does not close around 20 23 uh, then there's still a possibility that we will find resistance from here and do something like this so that really does need to happen. If that happens, we have all these opportunities. I mean, right here, so I never really do this, but let me try it. Uh, I just want to draw something. Yeah, so we have all these opportunities. We could do something like this, could do something like this, could do something like this. So all the opportunities for a break retest, uh, in my opinion, that is quite likely uh, in this scenario at least. And then my next price target would be around uh, 24.0. Um, but all of this is kind of based upon the premise that Bitcoin remains stable. I mean, if Bitcoin drops down to 45,000 again is somewhere in the upcoming weeks, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me to see something. Uh, wouldn't surprise me to see something like this as well. Um, like this. So. Um, Keep that in mind as well. I try to uh, I try to give you the most likely scenario. I'm I'm not sure if Bitcoin will remain stable, so I just wanted to give you that information as well. Um, so uh, stay focused. Look at what the whole market is doing. Uh, but as for now, I think this is the most likely scenario for Chainlink. Obviously, this is short term, uh, the last of 2021. So um, so yeah, that's basically my analysis. As always, this is not financial advice. It's just my opinion based on a technical and price analysis. Um, and if you have any questions about the analysis, please let me know down in the comments and I'll make sure to respond to that as soon as possible. Uh, but as for now, thank you all for watching and listening and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.